This is Natural Bridges National Monument in southeastern Utah. This is one of three of the natural bridges uh, in the monument that you can kind of hike down to. This one's actually probably the oldest one, or at least it's seen the most collapse. Uh, this one is called Owachomo Bridge. Um, and there's always two stories geologically to any location. There's the story of the rocks themselves and then the story of the landscape. And so let's start this story uh, with this landscape feature and kind of how it formed. Uh, and then we can look at these rocks a little bit and explain them in a little bit of detail. So natural bridges are a little different than arches in that they uh, span some sort of a water course, uh, so or like a stream or a river or something like that. So fundamentally, some of the same processes are involved, um, but it has a little bit to do with what it goes over. And if we come down the trail here uh, just a little bit, you can actually see that indeed uh, Oachumo Bridge spans across a little canyon, not much of a canyon left. You can see a little bit of water down in there uh, and the gully that it's in. And then there's a deeper canyon uh, a little bit further down. Um, and so to explain the process, of this all these canyons in this part of southeastern utah um, were cut or had a big period of their their history of down cutting took place uh probably over the last few million years but definitely during the last ice age during the last 30 to 10,000 years ago not because glaciers were here but because the glacier run glacial runoff from nearby mountains produce a lot of water and a lot of erosive energy to cut these canyons. So I have a good diagram here from a, a guidebook that kind of shows, uh, let me turn this a little bit here so the sun angle is good. But this is a nice diagram that kind of shows the evolution of this thing here. So in this first diagram here, uh, we have two streams coming down and if you know a little bit about how streams work always on the outside bend of a stream is where the erosion is a little more pronounced as the velocity around the bend uh cuts into the stream sediments or in this case the uh the rocks it accelerates uh, the erosional uh the erosion that takes place there so this would be sort of the initial stage here with these two canyons and you can see these two bends right here, this neck of land in between them uh, is very close. And then eventually, um, this next stage photo here, we have the water cutting through. So this neck of land gets skinnier, uh, it undercuts the, the cliff face of sandstone, eventually creating a, a path for the water to cut through and essentially forming the bridge that we see here, Owachomo Bridge. And then the last part of this, this little development here in this location is, here's Owachomo Bridge right here, um, but the water's actually cut a second channel, another channel across this little neck here. So originally that little neck was up here, but the erosion cut through this. And so what we have here is we have two abandoned channels. We have this abandoned channel here, uh, and then the channel that used to have the water flowing through it, where the bridge is, is now abandoned uh, as well. So, so great little viewpoint here of Oachomo Bridge. Um, we'll wrap this one up by looking at the rocks here. These rocks are uh, Permian in age, they're about 270 million years old. This is what's known as the Cedar Mesa sandstone. Um, and like some of the more popular sandstone units in the southwestern U.S. in the Colorado Plateau region. This was a geologic unit that was formed by big sand dune deposits. So during the Permian 270 million years ago, there was a set of mountains, highlands, um, in western Colorado called the Ancestral Rockies, pretty much about where the modern Rockies are today, a little further west, um, but also um, a pretty big mountain range at that time. And we would have had at that time here, there was a basin at the foot of that mountain range shedding sediment into that basin. At times there was the marine, uh, like a incursion of the sea was in that region as well. But at the time this unit was deposited, there was a set of dunes, sand dunes, with a strong northwest wind uh, forming those dunes. And we can actually see some of the evidence for these being dunes uh, right here. You can actually see some of the cross bedding 
So we've got kind of the main bedding surface here, but then these, these angled surfaces here, these are all slip faces on the backside of the dune where the sand grains have actually kind of tumbled down the backside of the dune, but still have the, you still have the, those slip faces preserved uh, in the rock record there. So a little different color than like the Navajo sandstone, which is Jurassic and is what we see at uh, Zion National Park. But here, this is the Permian Cedar Mesa sandstone, one of the more scenic and impressive units in southeastern Utah, and also the uh, geologic unit that forms these impressive natural bridges at Natural Bridges National Monument.